All right, the money displayed here represents $1,078,000, which was dug up in a residence in the Bronx occupied by Louis Cirillo. This money was recovered on April 28th. Mr. Cirillo was convicted in federal district court on uh, April 25th. Now, this uh, seizure and the fact that we're meeting here today with Treasury officials to turn over this money on the basis of a jeopardy assessment indicates the stepped-up effort not only by uh, federal law enforcement in the narcotic field, but also the stepped-up effort by the Treasury Department to hit these drug traffickers in a twofold area. Number one, by substantive criminal cases, and secondly, by civil assessments. I have here with me today Mr. Partner, Mr. Martin Polner, the Director of the Office of Law Enforcement for the Treasury Department from Washington, D.C., and Mr. Elliot Gray, the District Director of the Manhattan Internal Revenue Office, to whom I'm going to turn over this money based on a jeopardy assessment in excess of $2 million, which was served on me earlier this week. Since all this uh, money, this more than a million dollars, was buried in the backyard, do you have reason to believe that there is more belonging to Cirillo? Our information is that he does have considerable uh, other money. We executed a search warrant on his home in Miami, Florida, uh, Tuesday of this week, and uh, we were unable to uncover any further uh, monies down in Florida. How much more money do you think he has? Our information that he has uh, in the area of $3 million more secreted. The result of his arrest, uh, do you think that's going to lead you to other bigwigs in the narcotics uh, distribution? Well, as I said, uh, Mr. Sorella was the, uh, the uh, central uh, figure in a conspiracy involving uh, 29 people. Uh, there's 23 defendants now uh, awaiting trial in France in custody, uh -huh. and he was the principal distributor for uh, this ring in the United States.